By 10 o'clock, there's a group of us peering up into the canopy of the oak trees, hoping to catch a glimpse of our most iconic butterfly, the Purple Emperor. But the best views of this wonderful butterfly are usually obtained not by looking up in the treetops, but by looking down, because in the right conditions, Purple Emperors descend onto the forest tracks to take up minerals. Invariably, it's the male, and this is what has attracted butterfly lovers over the ages. The purple sheen, which shows when the light hits the wing at the right angle. This butterfly is what the Victorians called the noble fly, and certainly once you've seen this purple display, all other butterflies seem second class. Uh, this is Britain's premier butterfly, without any shadow of doubt. For the old collectors, um, there were three they really wanted. The large blue, because of its rarity, uh, the swallowtail from your Norfolk broads, and top of the tree, His Imperial Majesty, the monarch of all butterflies, the Emperor of the Woods, as they called him, the Purple Emperor. That was the one they all wanted most. The female has no purple on its upper wings. Apart from that, the sexes are similar. In close-up, with their upright stance and flame proboscis, they look like the Martian tripods in the War of the Worlds. <laughs> 